name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirits. Today, we are given intentions to pray for Lois Ndungi praying for her grandchildren, Reni, Kyle, and Troy, praying for good health, God's favor, and divine protection to them. Sylvester Ayonga from Nakuru Parish, pray for the family of the late Mse Ochako and late Mama Rosa in a special way. Pray for, uh, we pray for Anne, Sylvester, Lawrence, Stephen, and Winfred. And we also remember the souls of Ochako, Rosa, Alois, Caroli, and Dismas. We also uh, pray for mass intention from Miss Bridget Muli and the family from the Holy Trinity Catholic Church, Kanguno Parish, praying for the soul of the late Joseph Baluga Muli. We also pray for the healing of Andon, Anthony Olo, who is sick, that the good Lord may be with him so that he may get strength and continue serving him. We also remember uh, Christine Wavinia and her personal intentions, that the good Lord may be with her and direct her in everyday life. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. And therefore, therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Uh, Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord removed Israel out of his sight. None was left but the tribe of Judah only. A reading from the second book of Kings. In those days, Shalmesa, king of Assyria, invaded all the land and came to Samaria, and for three years he besieged it. In the ninth year of Hosea, the king of Assyria, captured Samaria, and he carried the Israelites away to Assyria and placed them in Hala. And on the harbor, the river of of Gozan, and in the cities of Medes. And this was so, because the sons of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, who had brought them out, out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared other gods, and walked in the customs of the nations, whom the Lord drove out before the sons of Israel, and in the customs which the king of Israel had introduced. 
Yet the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and every seer, saying, Turn from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes in accordance with all the law which I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. But they would not listen, but were stubborn as their fathers had been, who did not believe in the Lord their God. They despised his statutes and his covenant that he made with their fathers and the warnings which he gave them. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of their sight. None was left but the tribe of Judah only. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. With your right hand, Lord, grant salvation and give answer. With your right hand, Lord, grant salvation and give answer. O oh God, you have rejected us and broken us. You have been angry. Come back to us. With your right hand, Lord, grant salvation and give answer. You have made the earthquake, torn it open, repair what is shattered for its ways. You have inflicted hardships on your people, made us drink a wine that dazed us. With your right hand, Lord, grant salvation and give answer. Have you, O oh Lord, rejected us? Will you march with our armies no longer? Give us help against the foe, for human help is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he'll trample down our foes. With your right hand, Lord, grant salvation and give answer. Hallelujah, 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 The word of the Lord is living and active, discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. I am with your spirit. A reading first of all according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Judge not that you may not be judged, for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is the log in your own eye. You hypocrite. First take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Brethren, the, the theme of today, pride, the cause of unfaithfulness. In the gospel message, we are called, we are urged to be people who are prepared to protect our brothers and sisters by making sure that we are strong enough to do the same. This passage may be misquoted, but it is important to understand that Jesus was not making a prohibition against judgment. He was against the things which are done with a lot of self-centered pride. The judgment that is to be made should be done with humility. This calls us to acknowledge that at least we have an offending capacity, and so we have no cause to think that we are better than others. When we realize this, we see others with the eyes of mercy. It's a call for us to forgive ourselves, especially for the disappointments that we have caused to others, and be ready to overcome the shame by destroying its power continually exposing our life, deeds, and behaviors to those who will help us to, to safeguard our, li our life in our daily living, okay, by being ready to accept correction. Self-forgiveness and self-acceptance calls you to change when befallen by evil desires, and hence you are directed towards your daily commitment for the growth of the place where you live, the place where you work, the place where you are should bloom because you know what you are supposed to do. Pride affects our relationship and nevertheless the gospel calls us to realize that we are people and each has equal right to be in this world. The psalmist this chapter 10, verse 4 says, In his pride, the wicked does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. Do we have room for God in our daily living? Our behavior judges us, and we are seen as failures in our place of work, in our homes, where respect and, and obedience to our leaders is no longer experienced because of bride. This is seen where people who are well educated, when given appointments which cannot fit their caliber, they disobey. God desires to keep us out of the pit, just as He did to the Israelites. He took them, He directed them, but only disobedience and faithfulness let them go astray. And that's why. There is, uh, the Assyrians, Assyrian king comes and captures them and takes them into captivity. What are those things that can make us go into captivity? There are so many things. So God's direction for us in our life is all about humbling. We need to find satisfa satisfaction in our relationship with God. God wants his people to be faithful to him so that he may help them to work on their self-esteem, self-control, self-image, self-concept, that is self-understanding, so that each one may feel part and parcel of the community in which he belongs. If this fails, one may end up seeking validation in irresponsible affairs, power, alcohol, drug abuse, pornography, and many others. People end up being taken into captivity, just as we have heard from the first reading, just as it was prohibited by God. They ended into worshiping false gods. They ended into following the rights of other nations. It's a call for us to be faithful wherever we are. The devil takes an opportunity just as an Assyrian leader, uh, an Assyrian king, what he did, 
he went and besieged and took time on how he could capture this uh, Samaria. And after taking time, he actually captured them and took them into captivity. We too, the same way, the devil uses the same tactics. And when he uses the same tactics, when we are not following the, uh, the statutes of God, the, uh, this Satan who takes time will take us astray. And therefore, we are called not to disappoint God, but to be ready always to follow God's ordinances. A story is told, is talked of a young man who was looking for a job, and as he was moving around, he entered into a, a home of one person. And this person gives him a job to go and dig a land which was bare for so long. And then what does he do? He goes there, he digs the land. And after finishing, the owner tells him, everything that you will do, I'll give it to you. But because of unfaithfulness, the man gives him the seeds to go and plant. But he says, now, I'll just scatter them in the field. He finishes the job very, very, uh, very easily. He relaxes. The rain comes. And after the rains, the seeds comes out. When the owner goes there, he finds that the seeds are scattered. They have not grown. Are you the one who is planting the seeds? Are you like the man who planted the seeds? And then later on, the man said, no, you cannot work in my farm. Just go back. This is the same way that God uses. If we are unfaithful to him, he will always, he, of course he has mercy, but we will be going astray, we will be taken into captivity, like a certain, uh, like a certain will take us into captivity, just as the king of some, uh, Assyria did with the uh, to these uh, Samarians. So therefore, we ask God to give us strength so that we may be faithful to avoid pride, and then we'll be good people for this world. Sing 
sing a new song to the loving God. Sing a new song to the Lord. Oh, sing to the Lord and bless His holy name. Oh, sing to the Lord and bless His name. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall and so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Cardinal Njue and his auxiliary David Kamau and all the clergy. Remember your servants whom you have called your servants Ochako, Rosa, Alois, Karoli, Dismas, and Joseph Mbaluka Muli, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be coheres to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there. I make myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. shepherd and I lay down my life for my sheep says the Lord let us pray renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your son we ask of your mercy O Lord that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
daraja Sakramenti ya daraja ndiyo sakramenti ambayo mwanamme mkatoliki aliitwa na Mungu hupata mamlaka na neema ya kuendeleza ndani ya kanisa utume Kristu aliyowakabithi mitume wake. Kupata daraja kama sikiza tuni yako, tuma neno sikiza likifuatwa na nambari 738102070 utume kwa 811. You know when the charges were closed and people don't Christians don't go there now uh, even our charity work has suffered also even the priests are also suffering in that sense because they always depend on what they get from the Christians and therefore I want to appeal to our Christians also not to forget them maybe our seen in some places even jumuias are organizing themselves and going to visit the priests going to take some food or even give them some money for fuel. So please, let us continue to be generous. We take care of them. The priests will never forget that when they were in need, our Christians were there for them. Just like you want the priests to be there for them, so you Christians, be there for your priests, be generous, send something, even at a personal level, at family level, and also at the small Christian community level.